Hey guys, welcome back. So we went to the learning zoo recently, and this is kind of a recap. So there were these really cute baby tortoises right when you walk in. This gorgeous, gorgeous pair when you walk outside. Tons of tortoises, super cute. Tons of tortoises, and they were just gorgeous. Look at it. I'm gonna touch it. And then I got to hold this gorgeous python. And as you can see, I was having the time of my life. This gorgeous snake. And then my grandma held the snake. And you're just having a really good time. It was a gorgeous little snake. Well, I say little, it was a big snake. But it was a absolutely gorgeous snake. And I found this little turtle with the parrot. And then I fed the parrot. Close up with the parrot. And I think this is the video of my pet pair. Hi! <laughs> You're pretty. Hi, Ola! Ola! Hi. You're pretty. Hi! You're cute. And then I fed this adorable tortoise. Probably will. Try it. Oh, he wants my lettuce. I think the goats want the carrot. Ellie, you want to come pet the goat? Ellie, there's another one. There you go. And, you know, I had to love on the tortoise a little bit. I love tortoises. I think they are just so cute and sweet. And then we walked around a little bit to go look at the other animals. There was this veiled chameleon. And then I found the goats. I love goats. Hi, friend. Oh, Hi. Hi. You're cute. I like you. You're cute. Hi, little turtle. Turtle. Hi, little turtle. <laughs> Hi, turtle. You want lettuce? There you go. Take it away, huh? Mm hmm So thank you, Peter. He's a turtle. <laughs> Grandma, Ma, it's bringing the lettuce to the fish. Okay. It brought the lettuce to the fish. Hi, goat. You went to carrot? <laughs> Hi, goat. Hi, goat. <laughs> Hi, piggy. Hi, piggy. And so then I spent quite a while playing with farm animals. I love them so much. Hey, goat. You got pretty eyes, goat. Oh, you cutie. Do not hand feed Master Green. Oh my goodness! Oh, you cutie! Oh, you cutie! Hi! Oh my goodness! Oh, you're so cute! And I absolutely loved the named a tortoise Master Ugwe. I thought that was amazing, clearly. And then we went to go look at the prairie dogs. Now, it was really hard to get pictures of them through the grating, but I did my best. What? I'm done. It's smelling you, Ellie. Mm -hmm. 
It uses its tongue to smell. I know. Isn't that cool? Oh, it just... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Is it licking you? It's trying to lick me. It's smelling. Ellie, move your hand. I want to try. <laughs> we also found this gorgeous Asian water monitor, and there is a, quite a bit of us feeding him later. This porcupine crossing sign was hilarious to me, clearly. And there's our little porcupine friend. What's it called? Ellie, what is that? A porcupine. A porcupine. And then we went and fed the parakeets and cockatiels. These were gorgeous little birds and I had a great time with them. I love parakeets and cockatiels and they were just gorgeous little birds. This one was a frequent flyer to get fed and let me pet it a little bit too. You want to pet it? I would say I got some pretty good and cute shots of the parakeets. They were so gorgeous, and I absolutely loved getting to feed them. You have been trying, Ellie. You're pretty. After the parakeets, we went and headed back over to some of the farm animals. Gorgeous. Smells like horse poop. And that's because there is horse poop. Hi, pretty horse. Grandma. Hi. I loved getting to play and cuddle with this pony. So did my little sister. It was just gorgeous pony. She won't bite you. Daddy, look at that little cow in there. Everybody turn and look. You see everybody's faces. Thank you. Hey, you dropped it. <laughs> You're so pretty. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is this? Okay, just be careful, you'll drop it. <laughs> what are you doing, little goat? You're so pretty. I'm a pretty horse. Yes, you are a pretty horse. <laughs> Here, Ellie, you, look, look, let me show you. Yeah, keep your hand flat. <laughs> no! Ellie! Straight to the water. What are you scared of? I'm not gonna bite you. Look. Knucklehead. And now we're about to enter Farm Nose Snoop Booping. Boop. You're so cute. 
Yeah, touch it. It's cute. Oh, you're so cute. So then we kind of just walked around and I kept booping the snoots of every single farm animal I could find that was boopable. Hi, Piggy. Hi, Piggy. Hi. Why is Boop. that sneaky goat? That's and then we went back to the prairie dogs because they took one out and it was the cutest thing. Like, just listen to the noises this thing made. Also, she was teaching us about them, so... But it's kind of a cool thing. You can listen to the cute little noises and then also learn. So cute. Like a squirrel or a rat or a beaver or even porcupines. Yeah. I already Coffee saw that. Oh. <laughs> She's very happy. Oh. These guys love to be social. Uh, they want to be around their family. They want to be in groups. So she has three more prairie dogs she lives with. Oh, sweet girl. And I'm kind of part of the family. She loves to be held. Oh. Oh, yeah. She's very happy. But uh, this. Nudging her head right there. This was just the most gorgeous, snuggliest, most loving prairie dog I'd ever seen. She was just gorgeous and so adorable. <laughs> She's our only prairie dog that's this social. Uh, she used to be a pet. Uh. And they just didn't have the time for her. They need like six hours of attention a day. Yeah. That's like the minimum. Yeah. I think I'm a prairie dog. <laughs> What's she saying? <laughs> what is she saying? She's probably saying thank you for petting me. Also, I'm watching Shameless while recording all of this, and I just found out exactly where a popular TikTok audio came from, and I never knew. Yeah, little tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those sleepy piglets. Yeah. Very yeah, nicely. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Joe's going to get in there and measure everybody out. Mm -hmm. That little cow back there is adorable. And then I darn near stole a baby cow. This baby cow just came right up to me and was all cuddly Look and sweet. Look at the little baby. Hi. Hi, little one. Hi, little one. Oh. Piggies. Like, you probably do with candy, right? Hi, little goat. Oh, you're kidding. This is a little goat. Oh my goodness. He is growing his horns in, so he tends to rip his head on oh. people. It's a little itchy. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Hi. And like I said, this was just the cuddliest, sweetest little baby cow ever. It was like three months old. It was so sweet. I was 100% covered in calf hair by the time I was done cuddling it, but it was totally worth it. I had the time of my life snuggling a little calf. He is underwater right now, but this is Toothless, our Asian water monitor. Uh, you might be able to see his tail poking out of the filter right now. I see his head. When he comes out, we're going to give him a little bit of food. So he is the second largest species of lizard in the world. These guys are really close cousins of the Komodo dragon. As you can probably guess, Asian water monitors are from Asia, and they love to live close to water. You'll find them all over Southeast Asia, in rivers, lakes, ponds, wetlands, anywhere where there's water and food. And they are not picky about what they eat. So today he's going to be getting some shrimp, some chicken, a couple of other things. But in the wild, these guys will eat any small animal they can find in and around the water. Uh, that means fish, frog, crab. Uh, turtle eggs and baby turtles, smaller reptiles like lizards and snakes. They'll also eat birds, rodents, uh, literally anything they can catch and uh, an grab and swallow. Let's see, are you hungry? There we go. Ooh. Even though this guy's name. This was the feeding of the Asian water monitor that was earlier in the video. 
and I thought this was super cool getting to see how it would eat in the wild and it was also super informational and super like cool overall. We're gonna see if we can get him to swim for his food a little bit. They have fantastic eyesight. There we go. Come on, good job. They have awesome eyesight. They see in color just like we do. They also have a forked tongue that they can smell with, just like a snake. So when he sticks his tongue out, he is smelling everything around him, and that forked shape helps him tell which direction it's in. So if he smells something like a dead, stinky fish, he can tell if it's on this side of the river or this side. If he's walking along the edge and he smells turtle eggs buried under the sand, he can use those claws to dig them up, and then he'll eat as many as he can. Toothless. Whoa, look how fast You can see he's swim. swimming full speed. He is very excited about food today. He's hungry. He and he is very at home in the water. These guys swim just like a crocodile. They tuck their That's legs against their body and that tail moves them through the water. If they're in danger, if they're attacked by a predator like a tiger or leopard, they're going to use their tail to either defend themselves or to get away from danger. They'll dive in the water and swim for safety or they can use that tail to slap the animal in the face. I'm going to give Donatella the turtle a little bit of food so that she stops trying to follow him around, but I need to distract him. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Stop so Donatella is a wild Stop. river cooter that actually moved into this pond on her own a couple years ago, and she loves stealing <laughs> Toothless's food. So I'm going to give her her own shrimp so that she will leave his alone. So look at that. He knows there's some food in the water somewhere. He's going to try and figure out where it is. Because he uses his tongue to smell, he can smell underwater. In the wild, they will go and dive to the bottom of a, of a pond. They'll stick their tongue out into crevices and under rocks, looking for things like crawfish and crabs, as well as frogs. One of his absolute favorites. This was just a gorgeous creature, and it was so interesting to learn about it and how it influenced the culture where it's native to. And I don't know, I just thought it was super cool in general. It was just, it was so pretty and I loved learning about it, but I'm super into animals and all that stuff. So this was honestly just a great place to go. They treated their animals wonderfully. Um, yeah, just a super great place. All the animals that belong outside were outside. They were very careful and caring with all of their animals. And it was such a genuinely wonderful experience to go. And it was super close to a home. So it wasn't like I had to travel down in downtown Houston and it wasn't crowded. It was just a wonderful, it was a wonderful place. I had a great time. See if we can get him there.
So after the water monitor feeding, I went back, saw this baby goat standing on a pig. I went inside and I found an axolotl. So cute. And so then me and my little sister sat there and we stared at the axolotl for a while. We found that snake I held earlier curled up like a little cinnamon bun. I went and found a piece of a snake. It was hiding under its leaves. Found this gargoyle gecko laying on the head of it on the ceiling of its cage. I found a little tree frog in a ramekin, which was just adorable to me. I kept getting all of the angles I could because it was like it's a frog in a ramekin. And then I made f- friends with a puppy that was there. I don't know whose puppy. And I found the bearded dragon. And the blue tongue skink. Her name was Luna. She was gorgeous. I found eggs. I'm not sure if they were food or being incubated, but I thought it was really cool. I found, I think that's the hedgehog. And I found, I think, five of these little geckos. I forgot what they're called, but they're morning geckos. They're morning geckos. It's fully grown. They only get about two inches big, and they can never find them all at once. The most they could find at once is seven, and I found five, so I thought that was a really cool accomplishment.